the first part to your CUBE One Point Perspective project. You're going to need a blank piece of white paper, a ruler, a sharpie, a pencil, and some crayons. Now you can use any black marker, you can use a black crayon if you need to, you don't even have to use crayons, you can use colored pencils or markers, but I'm going to use crayons. The first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to take our ruler and we're going to draw a square using our ruler. And I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my ruler to the bottom of my paper and I'm going to draw a straight line. And I'm going about in the middle, put my ruler, and I'm going to draw a straight line again. Then I'm going to put my ruler on the left, draw a line, put my ruler on the right, and draw a line. I'm going to erase these ends because we don't need those. So here I go. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to trace my square. looks more like a rectangle, but that's okay. If you really want to have a perfect square, you have a ruler and you could measure. So this is about 5.25 inches and this one's 4. So if I really wanted to make it a perfect square, I could go to my four, I could make a little dot, go below, go to the four, and then make a line, and I will have a perfect square. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But now I take my Sharpie, I line up my ruler to all of my edges, and I draw over them. I like to turn my paper, make it easier on me. So here I have my square. The next step is to create our vanishing point. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw a circle, a little dot, in the right hand corner. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a line from each of my corners of my square to my vanishing point. I like to put my pencil at my vanishing point and my ruler lines up and then I can swing my ruler much easier. I'm going to line it up to the edge of my square. That's one. Swing it. That's two. Swing it. And that is three. Now I'm not going to do this corner because we don't see that side of our cube. So here I have all of my lines from the corners of my square to my vanishing point. Next, we're going to take our ruler, line it up to the top of our square, and slowly move the ruler up. And I'm going to draw a line from the first line to the second line. And then I'm going to swing my ruler to make it vertically, line it up to the edge of my cube. I'm going to take my pencil and stick it at the corner, slide my ruler over, and go down. I'm going to erase the lines that go to my vanishing point. and it actually looks like a cube. Next, I have to take my Sharpie and I have to trace all of my lines. So I'm gonna line them up. And now I have my cube. The next step is we're going to add lines a line design in one of the sides, a shape design in another one, and then a color design in the next. We're going over the elements of art that we've already talked about, line, shape, and color. So 
So this is where you get to have fun. You get to design it however you want. So I'm going to start with my shapes. And I'm going to make some organic shapes. And I'm just going to have fun with it. Kind of make it look like a puzzle. And again, you get to do it however you want. I think I'm going to do some fun lines in the side. I love zigzag lines, so I'm going to do some zigzag lines. I'm going to do a wavy line. Oh, and I'll do a pattern, so I'll do another zigzag. And then on the top, you can do anything, because it's all about how you color. So I'm going to make a sun with some rays. The first part of your Cube One Point Perspective project is now done.